With your NBC 26 News update, I'm Abigail Hankey. After last night's storms, the city of Ripon saw citywide power outages, downed trees, and inaccessible roads. The police department posting to Facebook, the city saw a severe thunderstorm with significant straight-line winds. Alliant Energy confirming power went out citywide for about 9,000 customers. The police department asking everyone to avoid traveling in the city to allow crews time to respond this morning. Now, day one of the Packers training camp was a success. 2,000 fans of all ages decked out in jerseys and even costumes came out in droves to see the pack is back and catch a glimpse of star quarterback Aaron Rodgers suiting up on the field. Now, every practice is open to the public and starts at 10:10 in the morning. Welcome to NBC, your home for Midwest Olympics. I'm your host, Charlie Barons. And I'm Tom Johnson. What a day it has been. Of course, we start off with that beautiful grill lighting ceremony. Denise only lost one eyebrow. Doctors assure us that she's only going to look surprised for a week. Lucky woman. The day is still yeah, the Olympics with a touch of Midwest. This is comedian Charlie Barron's taking on the games. This events have a lot less athletic feats and a lot more Wisconsin with competitions like a 40 yard dash with a lawnmower and drinking beers while watching the grass grow. Happy Thursday to you. I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot. As the sun is shining this morning, we're seeing the damage from that strong storm system that was severe warning the entire time, ripping through our area, dropping tornado warnings on and off for the first time so far this year. As you can see, funnel clouds were reported. This entire highlighted path has seen trees down. We're seeing widespread power outages and also a semi was flipped over during all of this as winds gusted anywhere from 60 to 90 miles per hour. Oshkosh with EAA going on just dodged the bullet just just by a little bit as winds only hit 37 miles per hour.